Hello besties. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you are doing fantastic. I wanted to hop on here and do your weekend reading. So if you are seeing this on the lovely 77 portal on July 7th, 8th or 9th, then this is definitely for you. What do you need to know for this weekend? We'll spill all the tea and nothing but the tea. Let me know in the comments below what are you manifesting with the 77 portal? It's all about divine timing in the tarot, the seventh card in the major arcana is the chariot card. So where do you want to move forward? Where do you want to see successes, victories, overcoming obstacles and transforming? Where do you just need a little extra divine timing or divine help? Maybe that's to ask for patience, for guidance, for opportunities, whatever that means for you. Manifest today, bring in your truest desires, but before we get started, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. Really helps your girl out and pushes it out to other besties that may need to see this message. But we have the tarot followed by the Beach Time Soul Oracle, as well for LaRoche's Goddess Queen, Just Me 23's deck. And then we have our lovely angel answers oracle so we will get you'll think about a specific question at the end and we'll get some use some yes no time frame and other guiding word answers so without further ado take a deep breath in through the nose out through the mouth putting good energy into the cards god energy source your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned what do you need to go ahead and know for today please and thank you spirit what do we need to know with this portal what are we manifesting and bringing in? Well, definitely there was some indecision and some delays. Maybe we were stuck on a fence deciding, do we stay? Do we go? Is the grass greener on the other side? Now you're seeing the truth. You're seeing the lies being exposed. You're standing in your power and you're knowing your worth. Maybe there was some gossip, some lies. Someone who was stirring the pot around you could have been an Aquarius, but definitely someone who puts other people down for their own self-promotion, self-gain. And they can't be trusted. With that, maybe this is a friend, a previous ex, someone along those lines. But you have this new energy with the Ace of Wands energy. This is new beginnings, a new creative spark. Feeling inspired. This is also my good dick card. Sexual energy, passion is coming your way. With the Two of Cups, this is a partnership, duality, love, compatibility, and equal give and take. You know, there's a connection, a marriage potential, something that is long term. And definitely there's mutual respect and love here. But the universe wants you to remember we got the chariot. I told you, 7-7 seven, seven portal. There's a victory overcoming obstacles, having the willpower, the drive, the focus, the dedication, and, you know, the self-discipline to say yes or no, to realize you need to make time for yourself, time for your friends with the Three of Cups. Don't forget about your friends and family as this love connection comes in or yourself. You need to prioritize all of that. And this is going to bring you long-term stability and success with the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, this is financial growth, but this is also rags to riches money. Long-term building that foundation and those uh, like the foundation to where you decide to take things. So if that's the foundation in your career, that's learning skills, you know, like traits, um, you know, maybe you're learning different programs or something along those lines. If it's love, it's building that foundation on trust and communication, things of that nature. Bottom of the deck, we have the emperor followed by the empress. This is a divine timing, a divine connection. This could be a soulmate, a twin flame, something that is higher level. Um, it is not karmic anymore. They are going to be dependable, reliable. Definitely someone who is mommy, daddy energy. It's definitely someone who is going to provide for you, take care of you, not only financially, but emotionally as well. With the Divine Feminine card, this is all about you standing true with that heart space, leading with your heart, and trusting in this love, this new opportunity. You've learned to fill up your cup. Now there's this new relationship, this new opportunity coming in. You've planted the seeds. You've learned to, you know, put that work, heal that inner child, heal those 
generational traumas. Really be patient and persevere through a lot of things in your life. You have this opportunity that your knight in shining armor is coming forward. You're following your heart. You're ready to take action in alignment towards, you know, your love life. You know, it's really realizing this is your ideal man or woman. With the High Priestess card, 222 is all about duality, trusting your intuition. Things are yet to be revealed, but you got good news and good opportunities coming forward. There's an optimism, you know, there's this energetic love that's coming forward and really realizing that, you know, you got this King of Wands coming in. They're very passionate, very bold, could be an Aries Leo Sag. This could also be the time frame. You could be meeting them during Leo season, back half of July, early August. But you're very inspired. There's a creative energy and this person knows what they want. They're very independent and they're going to take charge to come forward. Let's jump to the Beach Time Soul Oracle. What do we need to know for this weekend? Yeah, I think you're no longer looking back at the past. With the photograph, you know, you, you miss the past. You may miss other people, but you're ready to move forward and make some new memories. You're realizing, you know, if it looks like a snake, moves like a snake, it's a snake. Um, and you know, you shouldn't have to deal with this conversation or always feeling like you're second best, you know, you're reminiscing on new opportunities, you're ready to make move forward, make new memories, endings bring new beginnings with the coffin, there's this growth opportunity and this transition in your life that you are ready to heal your own heart, heal from toxic heartbreak, you know, relationships, addictions, any codependency, anger issues, neglect, abandonment issues, anything like that. And someone's really ready to come forward and reveal their true feelings. Um, it just makes sure that it doesn't fall into this codependency, feeling like you need to be the fixer. If this person needs to work on themselves, you need to let them go. They need to work through that. You can only be in control of your actions, your reactions, and your emotions. But I do see this opportunity of welcoming in love and meeting the one. Definitely there is a surprise invitation. With the date card, you know, you're meeting someone new. You're putting yourself out there. And this could be your twin flame making a comeback or rising to the occasion and realizing where they want to take things. This person really likes you. They're ready to fall in love. Romance is blooming. They want to get to know you, possibly go out on a date this weekend. But there's an unconditionally love and equal give and take in this relationship, falling in love and meeting the one. Yes, you're definitely mirroring each other right now. So what you're putting out into the universe, the universe is giving you back. You've done the introspection and you realize you're going to feel these triggers. You're going to have to feel it to heal it. You know, you're going to have to learn these life lessons, close out these karmic cycles, let go of the need to control the who, what, when, where, why. And now you're ready to put yourself out there meeting and conversating, meeting the one. You definitely have rebuilt yourself from the ground up with the hammer card. You know, you've been working on it and persistent with the love card. It, there is this opportunity, a message of love. Someone's thinking of you and letting you know things are on time exposure out here. So definitely it is this opportunity. Take time to heal. There's some progression in your life that we have the butterfly. So your relationships evolving to the next phase. You're healing your inner child. You're growing. I always say the butterfly has to, you know, start out as the caterpillar going into the cocoon and then transform into a butterfly. And this rapid change is coming. Your sign's going to be 555, that there's going to be an epiphany, an upheaval, a transformation in your life. Because you've learned to make these healthy choices, put up these healthy boundaries in not only your love life, but you're also your other life when it comes to your friendships, your career. You know, you're really trying to be happier. And put yourself first, working on, in on yourself, doing that shadow work and self-appreciation. You felt like that you weren't enough in life. And, you know, people have made you feel like there's a lack of confidence, a self-sabotage out there. But with the engagement ring, there is this opportunity that there's this partnership, this internity eternity completion union and you know you just got to remember make time for your friends girl talk you know live in the moment be present that's when you manifest so much being happily single is not an issue or a crime because I'm telling you you're attracting in your abundance your ship 
of abundance is coming in. You're receiving exactly what you need. The universe is going to provide for you because you've done the damn thing. You've done the work. And now you just need to keep a positive mindset that you've manifested exactly what you want. You're grateful that it's already here and you deserve it. But let's jump to LaRosh's Goddess Queen, just me and 23's deck. What else do we need to know for this lovely weekend ahead? What do we need to know, Spirit? Please and thank you. What do we need to know? Okay, we'll start here. Yeah, I think you're realizing that there were some karmics in your life that were hidden by the veil of beliefs, traumas. They're hard to break car cords. They don't even have to be a relationship. They could be karmic family and friends. You know, they got limiting beliefs. Like, they don't have the best intentions. And I think you're realizing, like, this person doesn't have to light spells and light candles and send you hexes. They can look at your Instagram photos and send you negative energy hanging from the side of the club that they can't get into. It's definitely a time to walk away from these people, know your worth, and focus in on yourself, love yourself, and no longer doubt yourself. Really realize that, you know, fear that you're not good enough for me or I'm not good enough for you. And you're realizing that these are wolves in sheep clothing. You prepare the table before you, 1111, the presence before me, and wolves in sheep clothing. So you're realizing the people that only want to be there for the good times, that really don't have anything to offer. You could be cutting out, just like I said, with the tarot. That Gemini, Libra, Aquarius out of your life, King or Queen of Swords. Bye, Felicia. Peace out, Girl Scout. You're done with these karmics. You've spiritually ascended past them. You are the phoenix rising from the ashes. As you level up, you can't take everyone with you, bestie. And you're releasing these lower negative energies, mental, physical, verbal abuse, toxic, unhealthy connections. And I'm telling you, you're protected by God, universe, source. They're not going to send you any more people that are non-committal, that run away from this connection, that are scared of their feelings, that are very much too much in their divine masculine energy, that are too logical, too much caring about their career. You are going to bring in someone who's worth it. This person's realizing and gaining signs and synchronicities that not everything is about their career, that they need a balance in life. They need to realize and appreciate the little things, be present in the moment and Realize that it's a give and flow. You shouldn't have to be working this hard. Abundance is your is your birthright, right? But this person is definitely about ready to blow up your phone. Call, text, communication arrives. Can you just talk? Could be a DM, slide, a FaceTime, a text, a phone call. But they've leveled up. They want to tell you that they've changed. And it's going to be up to you. I think you have multiple options out here because as you level up, this person's coming back because they are fearful that you are moving on without them. And they better be, bestie. You're leveling up. But I also want you to know that you are on your grind, on your hustle, and the universe realizes this. You might have multiple streams and in income, might be going for a promotion, a bonus, something along those lines. Keep hustling, keep grinding, keep watching my footwork because I'm telling you, Bessie, it's going to work out in your favor. You are in your abundance era. You're accepting all positive outcomes, sudden wealth, increased income. You know, you're a lucky girl or boy. Everything works out in your favor. You don't chase, you attract. What belongs to you will simply find you. And this could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus is coming forward. If not, they're just very slow moving energy that they want to be your provider. They want to give you the world. This is definitely a divine soulmate who wants to come in. And I'm telling you, it's a passionate connection. They're about ready to explode. You are all that they want. Undesirable urge at the bottom of the deck. But you have the free will. You're going to make the decision. Do you stay? Do you go? I think this person is definitely in it to win it, in it to lose it. They know that they have a soul contract with you. And they've been your secret admirer. They've been watching you. Will you be theirs? Um, they're afraid to tell you how they feel. But they need to suck it up buttercup and come forward. Because they know if they don't come forward and offer you this relationship, you are meant to shine. You are a diamond in the rough, bestie. And they need to make their moves because time is a ticking. If not, someone else is going to sweep you off their feet, off your feet. But you feel like home to this person. But, you know, a twin flame is also making a comeback, trying to come back for union. Some of you, let me know in the comments below who's taking the twin flame, who's taking the soulmate out here. But when these people come in and express 
their feelings, divine timing, 777, with the throat chakra. You know, it's going to piss some people off, but you're going to have to do what's best for you. Choose yourself, who makes you happy, who, you know, doesn't breadcrumb you, who's willing to fight for this connection, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy, put in the time, energy, and effort. Trust your intuition. One of them does want the long-term marriage, commitment, union. The other one, not so much, my love. But let's jump to the Angel Answers Oracle. So think about a question, person, place, or thing you want the answers to this weekend. And we'll think about it now. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God, energy source, your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned. What do you need to know about this specific situation this weekend? Okay. Well, there's definitely going to be communication that's coming in. So if you are in separation or there's someone that needs to communicate a result, an opportunity, that's going to happen within the next few weeks. So two to four weeks, you're going to get some air answers on this. You just need to trust your intuition and listen to the universe. Stop trying to control the who, what, when, where, why. It's under divine timing. When it's meant to happen, it's going to happen. Keep Working on forgiving yourself, healing yourself, focusing in on healing those triggers, healing your inner child, because I'm telling you the situation will improve. It's just up to you. If you keep taking that aligned action and working towards it, it will be successful. The answer is yes. It's kind of realizing there can't be light without dark. You're balancing your higher D self and your shadow side, but I'm telling you, you know, when it comes to this situation, there will be romance within the near future. So I think this is a little longer. If you did ask about love, the next two to three months is more in your time frame for that. But you have abundance coming in because you've done the hard work. You are ready. The universe is saying keep hustling, keep grinding. But abundance to me is more than, you know, just financial or, you know, just material wealth. It really is this opportunity of health, wealth, love, gratitude, manifesting everything you want and more. There's an opportunity coming in that is financial, that will be a blessing, that will give you the ability to no longer live in this lack scarcity mindset, this poverty mindset. You just need to recover, reground, prioritize, get those ideas. Maybe you're going to meditate and that'll bring you answers. But the universe is telling you that there's no need to worry. Just keep walking the walk, talking the talk, don't stop. And when they give you these downloads, give you these signs, take note of it and bring things in a balance, you know, work hard, play hard. That's going to be your mentality. Okay, bestie. I love you so much. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Let me know in the comments below if you made it this far. Let me know what you're going to balance in. Is it your work-life balance? Is it balancing your emotions? Is it a balancing your sleeping schedule? And make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notification bell. really helps your girl out. And I will make sure that I catch you on the flip side. Make sure you check out your July Zodiac read. And bye, bestie.